What is up? This one is not going to be a formal proof as much as me just kind of talking at you for a couple minutes. <laughs> so uh, I want to look at these two statements. I had two previous videos where I did an existential x, existential y, and then flipped it, and then a, a universal x, universal y, and then flipped that. And the purpose of this video is to show you that you can't do that when your symbols are intermixed. Uh, they do not mean the same thing. Uh, the analogy that I was shown by a, uh, a very smart person, and I, I really enjoyed the way he explained it to me, is that the way to think of this is kind of uh, just like a lot of discrete problems. If you can kind of put a real world situation to it, it makes a lot more sense. Uh, what this one is saying is that for for all, let's say all people at a, at a party, right? For all people at a party, there exists another person at that party such that uh, these people dance and, and, and you know love each other and uh, get along great. <laughs> uh, so for all people at a party there exists another person at that party such that these guys are dance partners. Um, but over here what you're saying is there exists a person at that party such that all other people whose, <laughs> whose torsos are sliding off of their legs, uh, all other people at that party want to dance with. Everybody at this party wants to dance with that one person. This is a completely different statement, right? You're saying there's one special person for whom everybody else has poorly drawn heart eyes for. <laughs> so um, these these are not to be. Gotta finish coloring in that last one. There we go. Uh, these are these are not to be confused with each other. These are not logically equivalent. Uh, these mean very different things. That is just something that you have to keep in mind when you're talking about quantifiers. Is when you're mixing these symbols and you're flipping things around, uh, the meanings do in fact change.